Welcome back to Space Weather News, your daily source for all things space weather related. If you enjoy our videos, please consider showing your support by subscribing to the channel. On July 20th and 21st, as predicted, Earth experienced two coronal mass ejections. However, both impacts were weak and did not result in even a minor geomagnetic storm. The solar activity over the past 24 hours was relatively low, with region 3373 being the most active, producing a C9.9-1N flare, the largest flare during this period. Some separation and decay were observed in region 3373, while region 3372 produced a C2.6 flare and showed slight decay. Regions 3378 and 3379 also exhibited slight decay, but the rest of the spotted regions remained relatively stable. A new region, region 3380, was numbered during this period. Additionally, an approximately 10-degree filament eruption occurred starting at 221558 UTC. Analysis is ongoing to determine if there is a potential Earth-directed component in the associated coronal mass ejection CME. For the forecast, solar activity is expected to remain low with the possibility of M-class flares on the 23rd through 25th of July. However, chances of M-class activity are expected to decrease on the 25th of July as region 3372 rotates around the northwest limb. Regarding energetic particles, the greater than 2 mega electron volts electron flux was at normal to moderate levels, and the greater than 10 mega electron volts proton flux remained at background levels over the past 24 hours. The forecast for the coming days indicates that the greater than 2 mega electron volts electron flux is expected to be at normal to moderate levels on the 23rd through 25th of July while the greater than 10 mega electron volts proton flux will continue at background levels. As for solar wind, weakly enhanced conditions were observed over the past 24 hours, possibly as a transition from the CME on July 18, followed by weak negative polarity high-speed stream HSS, influence. The total field decreased from 10 NT to near 7 NT, with the BZ component fluctuating between plus 5 NT and minus 5 NT. Solar wind speeds remained fairly steady at approximately 450 km per second, and the phi angle was in a negative sector. The forecast indicates that enhanced solar wind conditions are expected to prevail on the 23rd through the 25th of July due to HSS influences. In terms of geospace, the geomagnetic field was at quiet levels during the past 24 hours. The forecast predicts that the geomagnetic field will continue to be at quiet to unsettled levels on the 23rd and 25th of July. However, on the 24th, it is expected to reach quiet to active levels with the arrival of another negative polarity coronal hole high-speed stream CHHSS. In conclusion, despite the predicted CME impacts on July 20th and 21st, their weakness resulted in no significant geomagnetic storm activity. Solar activity is expected to remain generally low in the coming days, with only a chance for M-class flares. Geomagnetic conditions are also expected to remain relatively calm, with some potential for increased activity on July 24 due to the influence of a CHHSS. Subscribe to our channel, and prepare to be captivated by a wealth of updates, insightful analyses, and profound discoveries as we delve deeper into the mysteries of our dynamic universe. Remember to follow us on social media for the latest news and discoveries about space weather. To deepen your understanding of space weather phenomena, we invite you to explore our mini documentaries. Simply click on the on-screen videos to access these in-depth explorations. Thank you for watching.